Southern Times on Eva Freak News from the depths of the Niger Delta. In the headline, headsmen attack River State residents. Decadence and poor maintenance culture wreaks River State College of Health, Science and Technology. EFCC arrests eight suspected internet fraudsters. In sports, Ezinwa redraws from the home based Super Eagles International Friendly. And in our social news, so much excitement in the air as Abigail Remy Ijoma is honored with a surprise birthday party at 50. The news and more details in a bit. Welcome back. I am Omotola Agbelusi. A headsman has reportedly killed a 26-year-old in Egbeda community in Ogba, Egbema, Ndoni, local government area of River State. Residents, on, residents in the locality lamented Heather's invasion of their farmlands, alleging that their son, Noe, was killed by one of the headsmen on Thursday without any provocation. A relative of the deceased, Confidence Wellington, says Fulani headsmen have been threatening their people in the bush where they're firm. Mr. Wellington also said this headsmen threatened them and chased them out. The people of Egbeda used the opportunity to call on the state government to help them chase away these headsmen from their community. Police spokesman Unamdi Umoni confirmed the incident, saying the matter is under investigation. In a related development, the Ogoni Elders Forum, Bo Kabari Ogoni, has raised alarm over more heather threats in the area. In a save our soul message to the River State Government and relevant agencies, the Ogoni elders say an AK-47 rifle bearing headsmen were increasingly encroaching on farmlands in some of Ogoni communities, posing threats to food, peace and security in the area. In the SOS by Chief Monde Abwe, Chairman, and Dr. Desmond Mbete, Secretary Bo Kabari Ogoni, says in the past weeks, armed Fulani headsmen have occupied vast farmlands under cultivation in Kana local government area and Etio in LMA local government area. Recall that a 26-year-old Noye was killed in Ogba Egbema Ndani local government area by suspected headsmen. Decadence and poor maintenance culture wreaks River State College of Health and Science Technology. Our Southern Times on Eva Freak News correspondent, Tonte Ibikalabo, has the details. The student of the River State College of Health, Science and Technology in recent week barricaded the popular Equerry Road by Aji in a protest to draw attention of the River State government over poor basic amenities and decay infrastructure in the institution. The management in a swift reaction to stop the protest from escalating shut down the school for over a week. On resumption of academic activities, Eva Freak visited the institution to know if what led to the protest had been attended to. But on getting into the campus, all the issues remain unattended to. Part of the institution is flooded, poor drainage system, unhealthy toilet facilities in the hostels, poor electricity and water supply are all seen. Some of the students decried lack of equipment for practical practicals, conducive learning classroom, and other things needed for good education. Some of the demands of the students include accreditation of courses, upgrade of learning facilities, good learning environment, proper toilet and drainage system. As a foremost health institution,